Hello, my beautiful gamers, and welcome back. It's me, Siren, and today we're going camping. Because you guys voted that the next game that we will be playing is The Quarry. Now, for those of you who are curious, The Quarry is kind of like Detroit becoming human in the sense of it's a very heavy story driven game and you essentially have to make choices to ensure the safety of a bunch of teenagers that are helping out at a summer camp but of course their last night turns into a night out of hell <laughs> to be honest and it is our job to somehow keep them safe so if you're curious to see what happens and what mysteries we uncover in Hecate's Quarry, then stick around and let's game. Oh, just a little quick note. There might be awkward silences in this game because even though it has a streamer mode, um, it doesn't work. Apparently in the streamer mode, there is still copyrighted music. So, sorry about that, but rather safe than sorry. Ah, <laughs> oh, the moon is gorgeous. Oh? I would never. I I hate driving with an open window in general, but especially at nighttime, it makes me feel so unsafe. I don't know why. I'm assuming our point of view is some sort of wolf-like creature because it keeps showing the full moon. And I know the characters we are playing with, according to the Steam description, um, are being hunted by something or someone. So maybe we're dealing with some kind of werewolfy situation. Route 919. <laughs> Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Because um, I don't want to be copyrighted. I don't think I do. It begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost. Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. Why are guys like this? Explain to me, what is- Oh, what's up? Oh. Yeah, honey, nice catch. You just threw me in a quick time event? Man, the roads are definitely getting worse out here. I guess it's all part of the rustic summer camp experience. Oh, right, that's where we're going. I lost track like 200 miles ago. 200 miles ago, huh? But yeah, why is it so no, difficult Max, to admit that you're lost? Don't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye, hot dogs. See you later, apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. <laughs> well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, oh. so. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god. Okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on this it. This is so stupid. Um, <laughs> uh, map. Ah, voila. What is that? Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, how what happened to the, the normal map? This is the normal map. The one on the phone. That's not a normal map, that's a GPS! Of course not. Did this guy just see a map see and so ask where is the normal map? 
My map, how old are you? I guess they don't put summer camps on maps. Have you seen any signs for it? Hey, eyes on the road. Yes, oh. please. Oh! Because this man wasn't looking in the road and there was a weird grandma in the car? Ugh. This is how people get eaten in the woods. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, still in one piece. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? How was that a bear? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Oh, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? No. We swerved. I don't know. We turned. I mean, it was really cl close. Like, really close, but maybe we didn't... <sighs> this is why they pick young people to play in these games. What is it? They make unwise choices. I really have this car up. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, Max isn't that bad. He might not know what a map looks like, but at least he kind of knows about cars. I'm sorry, Max, I judged you too harshly. But you did just basically hit a person and thought it was a bear. It's not so bad. My How do you know? Me. That's sad. I hate it when people say things like that. Like, if if my mom or if I was in this situation and I crashed a car that belonged to my parents, they would just be thankful that I'm alive. I mean, it's not like he was out partying or anything. It was an accident. He didn't look on the road, though. He was staring at hell knows what. Oh, we're snooping. If I have an option, I'm gonna take it. Reject it. Oh, he didn't make it into university. It was probably not the right time yet. I'm sure he'll tell you. He doesn't look that bad. Thanks, hon. Yeah. Do you need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. Here you go. Perfect, thank you. The most important task Sooner is shining the light. The better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then picture yourself going up in front of the space. Burst here. his bubble. Well, anywhere is better than here. Yeah, there's a grandma in these woods. Look, there's a Grammy. React. You just saw a lady walking in the woods. And you're not responding. Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. Yeah, just be compliant. Defiant. Are you my boss? No, it... Calm down. These people are sometimes so hostile. God, Max, hurry up! <laughs> What's going on? Poor Max. I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah, that is. They could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just, I heard something, okay? Like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? No. I just want to check it out. Okay. No, right. we clearly turned. Just don't go too far. Before okay? hitting the person. Yeah. I'm sorry. But are you kidding me? I feel like I was mean to Max, judging him because he got lost and didn't know what a map is. But this girl is going to wander off okay. in the Look woods. The car. 
alone, apparently. And not just that. She saw someone. They almost hit someone. Despite this being spooky, let's throw spooky out of the door, okay? What if there... What if there's bears or like an angry moose or one of those boar things? I don't know what's in American woods, okay? I'm from South Africa, but still, there could be snakes, poisonous spiders. The fool. Oh yeah, you can collect these tarot cards. I Oh no. Oh no, I didn't pick it up. Oh no. Oh no. I lost it. Oh no. There it is. Press Q to view. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So, they, like in the Dark Pictures anthology games, give you, like, hints of what might happen. So, the fool. I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom. Or recklessness and risk-taking. Spon- and being spontaneous um, actions without thought but the consequences to match think think and don't get burned okay so this might be referring to her you know just being reckless I don't know okay these are quite cryptic whoa Okay, so we got a card. Can I press Q whenever I want to? Okay. I don't think I can press Q whenever. What's this? A tree? Ah. Oh. Clue. Press Q. Um, prologue. Woods. This is a poster of a traveling sideshow. It looks like it's been here a while, left forgotten in the woods. Are those burn marks around the edges? So, like a circus, I'm assuming? It looks like it. Yeah. It looks like someone reading like a Christmas, bo Christmas crystal ball. Not gonna lie. It does look like the grandma that was just in our car. Does she haunt these woods? Okay. So looking around is beneficial. But the question is, how do I know I'm looking around? and how, or, or if I'm going like the right path? Oh! <gasps> oh, I'm discovering loads of things! What the hell? It looks like someone lives there. Broken cage. Oh, sorry, I interrupted her. A broken cage? This decrepit cage has been engulfed by the woods over time. It looks like an animal has nested here. Oh, did I miss one already? Silas the dog boy. Silas the dog boy. What? It was probably just part this of the circus. Yeah, maybe this was just part of the circus act and it was left behind here. Because they had, like, in the olden days, weird people on display. Or abnormal people. Um, it's a really cool name, not gonna lie. Sorry. Lady, I don't, I don't know who Silas is, okay? I, I just know he's a dog boy, okay? I, I have nothing to do with this. Wanna be eaten? <laughs> no! 
Did you see that? She was in the woods when we passed by with our flashlight. Where are you? Oh. Um, Silas, I think someone's looking for you. Finally, she's running. Yeah? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm getting quite a few of these quick time events. I feel like it's preparing me for something and it's making me nervous. Also, I must say, I prefer these where you just go up, down, left, or right instead of having to press Q or W. What's wrong? Is everything alright? No! Talk to me. What's going on? What's going on? There's something out there. Like, I was... There was noises all around me. Honey, 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 take a breath. It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's animals. It's easy to freak yourself out. No. Can we just leave, please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. See, I feel like I accidentally went the right way and I could have explored huh? more. Yes, there we go. Purring like a kid. Max, come on! Here we go, here we go. We're getting out of here. Oh. Give me. Max! Come it's down! Just, it's not Max's Give fault. Me. We've got to go, Laura, Max. Laura, you're not helping right now. Can you just... I am trying to get us out of here. All right, just... enough! Shit, I'm sorry. Oh, she's completely freaking out on him. What should he do? Okay. I guess she's scared, but calm down. It's not helping. We're, okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Oh, jeez! Oh, fuck! Oh my god, my heart just exploded. Um. Roll it down. Sir, there's something Kyle, on sir. your neck. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Are you injured? Mm. Um, what are you doing? Oh, this is scary. Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? Max, speak. Yeah, um... Uh, honest. Yeah. We, um... Uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and, you know, here we are. Something jumped out? It was dark and animal. I don't know. Honest. Uh, I'm sorry. It was, it was so dark and it happened so fast and they were gone. I don't... They? Ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, no we no, just said not. we swerved. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. Sir? Path's chosen. Keep the car running. The cop seems anxious. Sir? I was honest. Is this guy like the all time scariest cop? I don't know, this is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. Yeah, he's very scary. He's unnecessarily scary. You can see they're lost and scared and confused. Like, calm down. Oh, he's helping! Okay, thanks. He's not killing us. Thank goodness. Well, not yet, it would seem. Now, you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night? Driving? Why are you like this? I feel like I want to remain friendly because clearly he's a bit agitated, so hopefully remaining calm helps. We're heading to camp. Yeah. We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out, you know? I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. Oh, now you're admitting to it. Bro, your neck. 
You're not gonna make it to Hackett's quarry. Not tonight. Um, why? Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? <sighs> um, oh, this is so confusing because all signs are pointing to that this guy is a complete and utter creep and he's being unsafe and unclear. But just maybe he's trying to keep us safe because if there is something running around in the woods, it might be safer to just stop by the closest place. But we did plan ahead. Um, she did say she called and the, the guy in charge knows that we're coming. Surely he wouldn't let us go there if it's unsafe. You know what? I, I, I feel like I'll, I'll go to the motel rather. Okay. Fine, yeah, we'll head to the motel, understood. Uh, there's just one small problem. Uh, I forgot to spring for the middle of nowhere coverage plan on my phone. Oh, what yeah. he means is we're lost, completely. Do they even have a budget for staying All right, in a motel? All right, ma'am, step out of the vehicle. Whoa! Wait, what? Um, no? I just want to show you how to get to the motel on your map there. Well, why okay. can't you do it while I'm in the car? No, this feels unsafe. For sure. Don't get out! Son, remain in the vehicle. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Why is he so jumpy? No, that's not legit. You don't let the lady go out alone. Oh, creepy. Just remain a safe distance and stay vigilant. Okay. So, we... Pencil works without licking it, my man. Oh, right about here. Ugh. Harbinger Motel is here. Right. Okay. And where was Hackett's quarry again? Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Well, we know the general area now. Okay, that was scary. Oh. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Wait, but, but what if there's someone out there? Yeah, I'll have a look. Good night. Oh. Um, Mr. Are you okay? Why were you like that? I wonder if he's gonna follow us to make sure that we go to the motel. I'm surprised he didn't offer. Why is this guy just sitting there? Yeah, Max, you did literally nothing. You literally did nothing. I know it was a stressful situation, but I did all the talking and had to get out of the car with this creepy ass police officer guy. This guy was giving me major weirdo The dude needed like at least a dozen showers. Oh my God, I know. What was up with the thing? I Did you see was... that? Was yeah, it... his neck. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh my God. Oh man. Okay, go to the motel. I don't want more trouble. All right. Let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here. Mm -hmm. And the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing you. <laughs> very slick. No, it's dumb. Should we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice. Listen to Sam. Honey, you really want to listen to the advice Sam, of some creep Max. ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep ass woods to go to some creep ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's okay, no, I actually, I feel like. Oh my god, <laughs> if he called me ma'am one more time, I was gonna shove that badge up his dick. <laughs> Seriously, oh. do I look like a man to you? 
I I've think, got like 20 years before I'm a man. I think mm-hmm. it was just being nice. What? I, 20's debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kind of into mams. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> yeah, I think he was just being respectful by referring to her as ma'am. I get to quarry summer camp. You gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This, this is the difference. You told the cop that you planned ahead. Hello? You said that they were expecting you. I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How uh. was I supposed to know that? You don't just show up somewhere. Really, there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll yeah. beat the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, Max, be nice. But still, I feel like his reaction is kind of valid considering you don't just show up somewhere without planning ahead. I can't believe she just sent a voicemail or whatever. You check before you go some- There's no one there! Is anybody home? You're just making rackets for no reason. Shush. I was really silently judging Max about the whole map and getting lost thing. But now I'm loudly judging you. I can't believe you didn't plan ahead. Wow, like, what if there wasn't any accommodations for them? Or what if there's no one there the night before? What even? This is how people get killed. What's this? Tree walk. Tree house. Jetty. Boat house. A car park. What doesn't kill you, make you stronger. Fun. What doesn't kill you, will make you stronger. Yeah. Unless it's some sort of accident that cripples you for your entire life. That doesn't really make you stronger. Maybe emotionally stronger, but not physically. This door is going to calling my name. I, I know I'm supposed to go to Max, but... How can I not go there? It's like a nicely lit path telling me to go there. Hey! Hey, are you okay? Does that look okay to you? I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some help. Don't! Ugh. Zero survival instinct. Just leave. Max! Max, get over here! What's going on? There's somebody in the bunker. I think they might be stuck. No, there's something in the duck bunker. I, I don't know. Just bring some tools so we can break the lock. Hey, I'm back. You're gonna unleash gonna a monster, you aren't you? Hey. Wait, what, what are these? I don't know. You just said tools. Why didn't you just bring... Look, there's someone in there. Uh, Poor Max. <laughs> I'm not seeing anyone. What? No, look. I'm looking, I am. Let me see. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay, okay, so. Choose your weapon. Um, I don't know how either of those were going to help me. I guess I can bash it with a hammer. I don't know. Hammer time. You sure? It's gonna be super loud. Why does it matter? According to you guys, there's no one here and there's allegedly someone trapped down there. So why does the noise matter to you? So, someone's trapped. Oh, you just woke up the entire damn wow, forest. That was super loud. 
You need a hand? Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Why would you go down a scary little hallway? You've seen the evil dead, right? Yeah, exactly. This is how people get killed. This well? is... Why they choose young people to be in these games and movies? Because they're they're not Are being you smart. Do you exist? Why should you just drop the hammer? We can use it to defend ourselves. Hey, be careful. Sits down on a step and lets us walk alone. Max, you're being a bit contradicting. You're telling me to be careful, but you're not coming with me. You're just chilling there. Ian? Is that how you spell Ian? I don't know. I'm bad with names, guys. You know this by now. This is so creepy. Just... Why can't you just leave? You're not even supposed to be here. Go pick up the thing. Clear discovered. The bloodied collar looks too big for a dog. What kind of dog would be called Ian anyway? If that even says Ian. I, ugh, I'm so bad with the names, guys. I'm sorry. Um, it's probably not a dog, considering you saw a human-shaped figure down here. I, I, <sighs> Avert your gaze, it's gore. Max? Zero sense of urgency. Zero sense of danger or survival. Just, guys, answer me this, right? If you see this down in a basement, what would you think? I would be scared and I would leave. This is weird. It's unnatural. Uh, at least whatever was growling is behind us, so it's gonna eat Max and not us. Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey. It's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can yeah. check everything out, but... Listen to Max. I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination... What? Max? Max is getting eaten. Max! You got Max eaten. Oh no, he's fine. Max! Oh, he's not fine. Oh! This what? Y yeah, buddy. Help. I think I'm bleeding a lot. Get him out! Did you not see something? Yeah, help, Max! Why would. Help, it's your fault! Path chosen. That always makes you so nervous. But yeah, no offense. It's completely and utterly her fault that Max is in this situation. Pull! Oh, at least he's kind of helping. He's giving little steps. Oh. Is, is he still alive? Oh, Max is eaten. Oh, Max is being eaten. Oh! It's the police guy. Yeah. Does this look like the goddamn Harbinger Motel to you? I'm sorry. They didn't listen to me. I tried. See, maybe he was trying to protect us all along. And that's why he was so, like, frantic and acting so strange. Ooh, I love horror games that starts off with a prologue like this because you're like, are these characters dead? Am I ever going to see them again? When exactly did this happen? 
he did follow us. Or did he just come here on his own because he knew there was something in there? Oh, <gasps> that was cool. I really wonder if they're... I doubt they're okay. Like, he shot and injected her. Ooh. The quarry. That was cool. Okay, are we meeting our new characters now? No? Aww, pretty birdie. He looks so soft. Hello, my friend. Welcome to the show. We are friends, aren't we? She was on the poster. I've waited for you. I've waited, yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. She was also in our car. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting, yes, and terrifying. Very much but so. If you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. Yeah, you can read my card for me. This is the card you found. Yeah. The fool. I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom. All recklessness and risk-taking. Spontaneity. Actions without thought. The consequences to match. Think. Think. And don't get burnt. Don't get burnt. I can show you more if you'd like me to. Yeah, of course. Um, she essentially just read the description of the card, so I definitely want to see more. This is what might come to pass. A possible future. A path yet unchosen. Okay. Look here, look here. Okay. Focus, focus. A car. Oh, a car being set on fire. We could quite literally there get are burned. There secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light. If you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Will make you stronger. <laughs> Wait, I like you. I like the granny. She's so creepy and ominous and I think she's cool. Yeah, I'm here for it. Okay, so we have to be on the lookout for something similar to that and kind of avoid that situation with the car. Chapter one, Hackett's Quarry Forever. This is very pretty. I must say I'm not entirely liking the, the thick black borders. I get the bottom one because that's where we choose our choices. But the top is a bit unnecessary. If you ask me. Ooh. Okay, so the Ladies. kids are leaving. Peace and love. We're you at the end kids. of camp. Yeah, hack its quarry forever! <laughs> you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. She's so cute. Oh, oh, wow. She's so pretty. Cynical or reflective? Uh, reflective, maybe? I'm going to try and be as nice as possible with all these characters to somehow maybe maintain a friendship. It could help in the future. Mm. I and mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. 
Space God. The Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, spell it. <laughs> Nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> okay. Quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Oh, uh, well. Be grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yeah. Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, I love her. Oh, ooh. Uh, sorry if you're like me and you hate motion blur. You actually can't turn off the motion blur in this game. Um, yeah. I love this character. She's so sassy. Jake, bags, focus. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's have a good look see around. Make sure we don't miss anything. There's the ominous door with the potential monster inside. Hi. Um, sir, you might be sitting next to a monster. According to reports from the local paper, the North killed <clears throat> some hay bales caught fire during the opening. Hey, what are you uh what are you listening to? Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke. Good to know. It's funny, did you guys listen to what he was listening to? Um, it said something about hay bar barrels catching fire and then the whole place went up in smoke. And we saw in the card, not the card, the pamphlet thingy we found earlier. It said something about a fire. The map of Hagget's Quarry. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Not in the mood sign. <laughs> I feel like that sign is silently judging all of us. Anyway, let's get up. I'm assuming the bags are in the cabin somewhere. Okay. Jesus Christ. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. Broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's. it's I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just. Dylan, closing. please. Sorry, bro. <sighs> cool. Thanks, guys. <laughs> why are they like this? Like, why are young people like this? I was never like this when I was a teenager. Well, I think they're teenagers. Because they mentioned something about schools. Hecate Square Summer Camp. Let's look. Um, Hecate Square Summer Camp was established way back in 1953. And is still going strong today, nearly 70 years on. Whoa, this place is old. It's very pretty out here. Man. Who'd want to leave a place like this? It's if like this, goddamn Bob Ross. If the signal's bad, I would want to leave, to be honest. Mind you! I went to a school camp and it did not resemble anything like this. Remotely, it was unpleasant and small and not comfortable. This is nice. Oh, oh, careful. Careful. Oh, skill. Good job, Ninja. <laughs> oh, that was so not sophisticated, but he tried his best. Ugh, horror. I hate horror. Well, I'm pretty sure you're in one now. So now you're gonna like it even less. Anything here? No. Unnecessary detour? I do want to check the nooks and crannies for in case we find more cards. Oh, this is a big space. Okay. I don't want to open the door yet. The one thing I don't like about games like this is... 
I'm unsure when I'm going the right direction. Ooh. The Tempris. Temperance. But yeah, because I want to go the wrong direction first, obviously, to find things like the card. Um... Oh, nice! I have both! Well, I haven't missed one yet, it would seem. But yeah, if you go the right way, you sometimes get dragged into a cutscene and then you miss things, which is kind of unpleasant. But let's see. Temperance. To be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes with temperance comes deferred. Deferred. I don't know what that means. Um, gratification. Okay. So I just noticed I could rewatch this and I feel like it may, might make more sense the longer we play because obviously we're gonna be in that situation with the car with the character we are currently playing as so i'm assuming he is the fool anyway maybe i'm looking into it too much and it's not that deep or maybe it is and i'm looking into it exactly the right amount i wonder if we find like one card per stage or if there's maybe more than one Man, that's a bad place to get stuck. Note taken, question mark? Should I take that note? Fire kills? What's with fire in this place? Don't share your germs. Your parents doesn't work. You wash your own dishes. Uh -huh. Oh, and there's a little menu. It's kind of cute little touch. Okay. What else can we find here? There's the bags on the stairs. I'm ignoring those for now. Want to have a look-see around? Fireplace? And this place needs a serious overhaul. I think it matches the whole woodsy aesthetic. Oh. Jesus. Kind of creepy. Hi, you locked me out. No, you watched as your friend locked me out. Hi. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, but you yeah, were in a right. home is place. That, is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you going to help me with the bags or what? Nah, I got to stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! These kids are so strange. I don't understand them. Okay, nothing to see here. I can probably go get the bags. Oh, no. Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. Uh, yeah, don't knock at the door when someone's in a bathroom. That would have given me so much anxiety. <laughs> oh. Um, can you walk a bit faster? I would appreciate that. Let's have a little peek. I don't see anything I can interact with on this side. Okay, let's get the bags and take it to... Do we know her name yet? The cute one with the <sighs> short black hair. <clears throat> Freedom! Lock them in there. Apparently they find things like that funny. All right, got the bags. Great, all by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my God, you are so mean. <gasps> oh, she's so salty. At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Playful or defensive? Again, I'm gonna try and be nice to these salty people. 
Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just got to take, Jake. Oh. oh, sorry. I just got so distracted about that rhyme. I forgot what we oh, were. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Oh? Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? You called him sexy. Smug, I knew it. Mischievous, sexy. L let's be playful. Ah, oh, sexy, huh? How does that camp by far? Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, mm -hmm. then Dylan, Emma, Abby. Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H. And... Okay, are you almost finished? Please. Yep, that's it. That's everyone. <laughs> oh. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? Yes. No, no. Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? Yeah, that's kind of... Frustrating. It sounds like he's actually interested in this person, um, but she's not interested whatsoever. Okay, okay, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have, like, this superpower over me, but you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> oh, likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. Oh, Check. Okay. <laughs> Wow, the um, the fumes of, of jealousy are just uh, stifling over here. Excuse me? I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. No. You're a real charmer, you know that? Don't call yourself the big dog. No. No, my man. Confident, that's right, or encouraging. Seize the moment. Yeah, let's go. Look, I'm just saying, I don't know why you didn't make a move on Ryan. You should have seized the moment. <sighs> Well, can't seize the moment that never happened. Yeah, well, you can't wait for it to come to you. You gotta make the moment happen yourself. Yeah. All oh, right. Chase the moment around all summer like a dog with two dicks until it dumps you on oh. the last day of camp. Okay. <laughs> They're so crude. I'm not gonna miss you, Caitlin. <laughs> oh. He has a point, though. Okay, so, are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you. Yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> Is this the car that potentially catches fire? Yeah. Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome She's with the leaves poking out. smart and sassy. Yes. She, <laughs> you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. But you are truly a fool. Guess we'll just have to find out. <laughs> Don't do this! But this is potentially dangerous. I think, yes, I can press escape. Uh, oh. Oh, that's cool. I can view my paths, but I'll get to that in a bit. Um, can I rewatch this? The fool definitely is referring to, what's his name, Jacob? Jake? Replay. He does fidget with the van, and then when it starts, it catches fire. Yeah. So, I think for safety reasons, I'm taking the rotor arm because I don't want to completely break the fuel line. Maybe this is going to cause a fire. Where this is just taking out a single piece that you can just put back and it should be fine. It's not actually damaging. Not that I know of. Ooh. I think we're good. Path chosen. Come on with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Yeah, hopefully. 
Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, oh. please. D -d 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 oh, Nick. Why are you like this? Boom. Oh, oh. there it is. Oh, mm. man, good um, sight. Oh. Freak. Can you please oh. stop? That's oh. not charming. Ooh, I wish I had um, some singles. Oh. Freaks. I'm surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> you really are. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, She's you so should small. really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped an emergency? Ha <laughs> <laughs> Ben. No, it, you're just being unnecessary. Like, I personally would be very annoyed at this. It's not funny. But I'm just going to pick the friendly option. Let's just pretend like these people just have a nasty way of speaking. But to them, it's just playful. I don't know how these people work. Okay, I'm be friendly. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, yeah. Damn, now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hook. Okay, okay, okay. Let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Why? Why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. That's a bit contradicting, considering he doesn't have anyone, and then the guy everyone's making fun of for being dumb actually got someone. You know? Even though it was just a summer thing. These cabins are genuinely nice. Oh, you're drawing something? Can we see? Well, that's kind of cute. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. You're the one that did the dumping. <laughs> it would have been oh funny to miss. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwards dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. What? It's obvious what we have to do here. Break in. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Yeah. Leave. Break in, obviously. Why would you leave your bags? I mean, aren't there, like, clothing? I can't talk. But get the bag. It's important. Just break in. Okay. Let's do it. We better not get in trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Look at her Mr. bag! Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? I'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One. Or you just tell him your bags were two, in there and you can't leave them behind. Three! Mm. Path chosen. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Emma's sure proud of think you. It was a bear. Oh my god, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. I mean, you could have found someone with a key, but leaving behind bags is not an option. Okay, I would oh, oh, never leave behind Aww. my bags. This was little Izzy's. Hi. I want to play a game. Oh, it's cursed. <laughs> no. Mm. Oh, it's going to be lonely if I don't take it. But no, it's not mine and it's, it's kind of yeah. scary. You can probably just stay here, you creepy little thing. Path update. Ooh, should I have kept it? I could have used it for a distraction. This game is going to make me overthink so badly. Let's go down all the little oh hook nooks and cranny. Why would this place be in the news? 
A scrap from the local newspaper, the North Kill. Um, something about a fire. Was it at Hackett's Quarry? You know, the guy at the start also was listening to something about a fire. It says, Freak Show goes up in flames. I can't really see anything else. Oh, it could have been this place. Um, because we found this burnt poster. Um, so yeah, it's, it's probably this little place they're talking about. Anything this way? Yeah. Can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. Yeah, no, comfort is everything for me. That's why I don't like camping. Mind you, I really like what she's wearing. And I need that bag. I like actually need it. It's a necessity. <gasps> oh, there's a crow there. Hi! Do you mean anything? Ooh, the wind is picking up. It's kind of scary. Where are you going? It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcement. Ah, a little radio announcery room. Yeah? Strange music? What was that all about? Hey! You stop <gasps> that! <gasps> oh, I don't I don't think he was going to break it. Just pecking at it, you know. I'm just scared I missed like a, a card somewhere. I don't know how much I can explore and how much I can't. I'm really not gonna go door to door in each of these little cabins. Even though it might help us in the future, knowing which ones are open. Uh, well, we know the one we came from is open. Let's check out this little area. This looks nice. I mean, I'm sure there's bugs everywhere, but it looks very cozy and it's so pretty, the greenery. Emma. Ouch. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. Why? Evidence collected. Empty file. Evidence. An empty file with an unpleasant odor. Okay, so I'm assuming collecting evidence is very important. Ugh. Ugh. What is that? Is it Dylan's? Ugh. Why would it be Dylan's? Or is he like the, the gross one in the group? Oh, a little sign. Who discovered? Uh, chapter 1. Camp Cabins. Though this is a novelty sign post, it also acts as a chilling reminder that Hackett Square really is an, uh, is a long way from anywhere. Oh, the sign says like Tokyo, Seoul, San Francisco and how far away everything is. That's actually quite cute. I, I kind of like that. It's funny. This is really pretty. I just wish it was a bit more full screen, like I said. Hi! You have a little golf cart? Ready to roll? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it! Finally! Oh no, I'm I driving. Time to let loose and vamoose oh. this caboose. What does that so even mean? Dramatic. Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself. But louder. Twisted logic, but it makes sometime. sense. You never know who you might impress. Nah. 
anyway. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. Ooh, the you have a crush too? Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Nick is the one with the curly hair. <gasps> oh, 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 wow! <laughs> oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, uh, sure. Shido, but that's us. You and Nick. He sabotaged a different. car for her. Where did he get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. His email? Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? Get his number. I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. They have a really cute friendship. Oh, hold on. Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Why not? Back to lodge. Yeah, let's do it. I, th I feel like it's good to know our surroundings. Yes. Sure. What's the victory? Two months. No technology. Whoa. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. That's Ugh, a really I long didn't. time. Plus, my subs need me. Sarcastic or supportive? Must be nice, I guess. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious, what can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. If yeah, guys. Know, I'm really regretting it. L oh, listen no, to what she's saying. <laughs> My favorite spot? The fire pit? The island. Mad secluded, right? It doesn't look secluded. Is, There's smoke. Is that smoke? Yeah. Should we tell someone? Mm, it should looks be fine. pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should, we should probably, you know, get back. Oh yeah, worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you. Well, no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. Uh, <sighs> everyone, same. <laughs> Why are they like that? It's so annoying. Like, okay, you have a crush on someone. It's no big deal. Whatever. People like each other. People have feelings. Some people doesn't share that same sentiment. Just get over it. Oh, so frustrating. No need to make things awkward. Don't Camp worry, entrance. Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. Well, they say the strangest okay, I'll things. just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, ew. <sighs> Again. They say things the weirdest ways. Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's She's go. She's so flirty. Just gotta get these bags up on to the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take uh, care of my own bag, thank you. Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take Ugh. care of our own bag, thank you. Why? That That's so unnecessary. Cool. Like, the guy just wants to help. It means nothing. It means something for him, maybe, but <sighs> still. Yeah, nudge, 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 go. Uh, uh Abby, do you need... Yeah, oh, so he actually I... maybe likes her, too. Thank oh, you. Oh, she just dumped it on the ground. This is awkward. This is so awkward. Oh, this is weird. No, I cringe. Cringe. <sighs> yeah, you did good, bud. 
<laughs> hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. Yeah. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Yeah, about what? Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Protective or friendly? Again, I want to be friendly. Yeah. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> Why does he say it no, like it's, that? it's a paranormal podcast. Th this Ooh. episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? Hag of, Hackett's, the Hag of Quarry? Hackett's Quarry. You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's <sighs> oh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? <sighs> These people it's are just horrible. This campfire story for the kids. It's um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Silence. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Yeah, we've met her. Some people say. Right? That if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. Or kill you. Or Should something. I not trust I her? It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Don't be mean, I thought you bro. liked him. Supportive, yeah, be supportive. Seriously though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. Ooh, that's not good. I mean, not for life. <laughs> you gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the hold up, Hacketeers? Yeah, I'm nearly done, Mr. H. Up to it. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. Yeah, had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to impress the ladies with all his ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! Sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. Well, you know... I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. He seems nice. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Why? No fair. Yeah, no, I don't want to... Is there no middle one? Because I don't want to be like, nah, no worries. I want to be like... Uh, like, are you sure? Like, my phone's gonna die, kind of thing. I don't want to be like, oh no, that's not fair. Like, <sighs> cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Okay, uh, he's happy about that. No big deal. You can share my earbuds. That's nice. They can listen to the podcast together. Well, if I press escape, they actually have little object objectives like charge your cell phone. I do want to check this quickly, though. So, I helped Max in the storm cellar. Shelter. Um, oh, I just backed out of everything. I wanted to check all of them. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know about the whole thing with the... Yeah? Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. But he was talking. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? Listen to podcast or eavesdrop. The podcast can give us additional... Screw it. What? 
Because kids are kids. You should only be so much about. But they're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's going to take me to get rid of these damn kids. Suspicious? Yeah. Of course. Adios. Oh, move away from the door. He could hear the footsteps. Move! Oh. Sorry, I, I wasn't... I wasn't listening. I, I Chris was just, is disappointed. Like, waiting. Like he's, I mean, I heard... I, I mean, I, was, I didn't hear what you were... Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand? Looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. He looks a bit agitated. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. You're into art. Right. You, you know, listen, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live Ooh. on campus, you know. My mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. That's such a hard situation, having to choose between your future Dang and your it. family. Frustrated. This is important to me. Concerned. Is everything okay? Yeah, he's kind of like not acknowledging us at all. But just be concerned, even though I would have been frustrated. Like, I really would have. Is... Everything okay? But he's acting strange. You got a hot date tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> so, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents? Letter after letter these terrified kids that they send home the stories huh. I, I didn't realize that believe it or not scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business so maybe just ease up on the ghost stories you know i feel like this is something you should have said sooner apologetic or it was just a little fun yeah let's just be sorry and you know keep it cool don't want to start an argument but i feel like this is something you should have brought up much sooner he's saying he's getting cool after cool after cool you should have brought this up man sorry i didn't realize it was such a big deal gotta understand the repercussions of your actions buster it's a big part of being a counselor a leader yeah just stick to kumbaya next time okay what's that you guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. No, but I know what kumbaya is. How old are these people? Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Understanding or why? Well, it makes sense. You probably... It's going to turn into some kind of werewolf or something. <laughs> um, but, yeah, well, I wouldn't want these kids to drive alone at dark. But let's, let's ask. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's yeah. not safe to drive in the dark. No, it's not. And safety is the first step towards fun. That wasn't convincing, but you're Just trying. Just give me a minute. Yeah, he's not doing well. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrap yard during the off season and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. 
But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. And then threw them away. Ooh, in a cup. Right where I left them. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Boom. Let's go. This man is anxious. Interesting photo on the wall. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Uh, um, the car might not start and also might catch fire. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You should have turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. Cool, let's go. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good, because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. He's politely kicking them out. What's the problem? Ugh. Dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, Great acting. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. Yeah. What, Dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, it's maybe okay. you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. The fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. What, Demon? Why are you acting Shit. that way? Come on, right, come on. Chill. Chill, Let's dude. Go. I'm a worried, you child. Just get out of the car. Chosen. I thought I told you kids to check everything. It didn't no, catch fire. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Okay, calm down. Damn it! Calm down, you're being harsh. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Ooh. Ah! <sighs> okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. What is happening? Catch it, catch it, catch it. Uh, there he goes. Off he goes. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Um, you're kind of scaring me now. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. Okay. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. Okay, so we just, just have, have to... to keep everyone inside. Survive the night. That's you promise all. me you'll do that? I'll do my best. Um, I will personally do my best, but we are dealing with a bunch of idiots, to be blunt. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Yeah, bye. The doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. So, that happened. So, what was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving oh, until the morning. Please stay inside. Are you kidding me? Um. Oh, you're a man are child. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. Yeah. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Dylan, or shut up. Shush. Stop. Or we could do something else. No. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. Yeah, but he was anxious, and I think he's trying to keep us safe. P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Because we're okay, going to get okay, eaten. Okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Uh, 
Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's <laughs> in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. Em, what do you say? Mm. Obviously, she's in. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay yes. in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out. Reasonable. You know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? Supportive. Yeah, he was concerned for us. He did seem freaked out, but I think it was to keep us safe. I'm sure he's just looking out for us. No big deal. All right, yeah. No, Party. I, I didn't mean. No. High five. Touch my hand, Ryan. <laughs> Imagine going up to someone. High five. Touch my hand. Touch it. No! No! I'm scared if I stay stern, though. Um, They're just going to get angry at me. They're going to party regardless. So I'm just going to say fine. I just want to say there is no blood on my hands. Whatever happens, it's Dylan's fault. Cool. Fine. Yes. Yes. I just want to go on record and the group say is that impressed. this is a bad oh idea. God damn yes, it. it is a bad idea. Uh, uh, it's going to be fine, man. Trust me. It's going to be chill. Is it just me or is there like... All right. All right. All right. Hack it here. between Party those planning two. committee. Let's do this. Um. Okay. First things first. Nick and Abby... You go get some firewood. Uh, oh, and setting then it I up. We'll go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just—I don't know—figure out how to charge the phones or something. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Okay, prepare to stay for the final night. Let's check the paths quickly. Above the law, um, I was honest. Why can't I go on? Ah, it probably follows the characters. Jacob removed the rotor arm from the minivan. He was the fool. It says a fool's errand. And down the rabbit hole is... Abby chose to help Emma break into the cabin. It's not working. Oh, there we go. Abby was able to explore inside the cabin. And then... Um, Abby chose to leave the forgotten toy in the cabin. Why is that significant? That kind of scares me. I could have gone on here too. Um, the minivan failed to start, so the counselors couldn't leave Hackett's quarry. This probably could have been the minivan caught fire completely. And then I have a camp tab. It's just like a little map. Okay, it seems like that's everything we found. Okay guys, on that note, I'm pretty sure we completed the first chapter and in the next video we will jump on into the second one where we apparently are going to throw a party in the middle of the woods even though we were specifically instructed not to do that. So yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed today's video. It was really fun. Thank you so much for voting on the query. I will be honest though, this game did kind of give me a run for my money because I had a lot of technical difficulties before starting this. I won't get into too many details, but my OBS screwed me over completely and my power went out whilst recording. But again, we're not getting into that. I really enjoyed today's video. Again, I hope you guys did as well. I'm really curious to see what happens and when we're gonna get into the action and actually start uncovering all the secrets and mysteries and you know there's there's a lot of questions around this game and I always love you know just going along following the story and seeing what is actually going on in Hackett's Quarry. So yeah feel free to share your experiences with me. Um, no spoilers but if you have played the game before comment up until where I played what you did, what choices you made, and what the repercussions were. Uh, again, no spoilers, but I do like hearing from you guys what you chose and how the outcomes were different. It's very interesting to me. So yeah, feel free to do that. Anywhoosie, I hope everyone has a lovely day, evening, 
afternoon, wherever you are in the big wide world, and I shall see you in the next adventure. <laughs> Have a lovely day. I just said that. Anyway, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Ooh.